Welcome everyone to Pivotal Stats where we talk about data analysis techniques, business intelligence platforms and much much more. So, let's go. Hey everyone, welcome back. So today we're going to cover three topics. First one is aggregation function. Second one is group by and third one is aliases. The reason I'm covering all three of them today is that more or less all three of them are used in combination with each other. So without wasting any time let's just quickly jump in so to begin we're going to start with aggregation function and mainly we're going to cover six aggregation functions today okay so let me just quickly write a select statement and i'm not going to give any column right now i'm going to write the from statement here and i'm going to choose the table name and the data that i'm using is the same data that we've been using open power lifting now instead of giving a column name what i'm going to do is i'm going to write my first aggregation function which is sum okay and because this is a sum it needs a numerical column so that it can sum up the values okay so let's say total kg okay this is one column that i have in my data set which has the total number of kilograms a person has lifted right so i'm going to apply some filters here And I'm going to run this. So if you see in the results, it's given me the total kilograms. This category of people with equipment equal to raw and age less than 15 have lifted in terms of kilograms. Now let's see another aggregation function, which is count. Now inside count, I can use either a numerical column or a categorical column. Okay. It doesn't matter. So I'm going to count the total number of names that I have for this category. Okay. So I'm going to run this and it will give me a total number of count that we have in terms of names. The third aggregation function is average. Okay. Which is denoted by AVG. And I can again use the total KG column here because it's a numerical column. And for average, obviously you would need a numerical column. Now, when I run this, I can see the average weight a person in this particular category, which is equipment equal to raw and age less than 15 is lifting. The fourth aggregation function is max. What this does is it gives us the maximum value within a range or within a particular criteria. So I'm going to say max total kg and it will show me the maximum of total kgs someone has lifted. Similar to this, we also have min, which stands for minimum. And again, I can use the total kg column to see the minimum value in terms of kg that someone has lifted. Now, apart from all of these, we also have another aggregation function, which is very useful, which is count if. Now, this is where you can apply a condition onto your count. So I'm going to remove this where clause from here. And instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say count if age is less than 14 and run. I can also add another clause here and equipment is equal to raw. Okay. And it will give me a count of total rows that we have for this specific condition, which is age less than 14 and equipment equal to raw. Now, as of now, we were just getting the aggregation of a particular column. What if we want to see it adjacent to a certain column like for example name i want to see a person and how much kilogram that person lifted in terms of sum do that obviously you might think that we can add a name column here and besides that we can add a sum column and within sum i can use total kg right but this will give me an error that is because we have used the correct syntax in the select statement but there is one key information which is missing here we have to write a clause called group by and in the group by and I'll simply write name and then run. Okay. And I'm going to explain what group by does. Okay. Now, if you see, this is the output that I received. What it did was it gave me a summary of the entire data set. It summed up the total kgs for each person and then gave me the total sum of that person in the table below. And this is what group by does. It summarizes your data. Now, if you've used Excel pivots before, you will know that when you drag a certain column onto the pivot, it tends to summarize your data, right? 
So when you drag a certain column into the row section and then one column into the value section, it summarizes your data and then gives you a sum or count of that particular metric that you have dragged. Now group by is the exact same thing within SQL. Okay. What it, it is doing is it's summarizing your data based on the column that you have given in the group by section. Now when you're using the aggregation function alongside any other column, it is mandatory to write a group by clause. Otherwise it will give you an error. Okay. But if you're writing only the aggregation function like this, then there is no need for a group by clause. Okay. So I hope you understood why and when we use a group by clause. Now group by is not limited to just one column. I can add multiple columns to it. So let's say equipment. And when I'm adding an equipment here, I need to add the equipment in the group by clause as well. Okay. So again, a thumb rule for writing a group by whatever columns that you have in your select statement, all those columns should be present in your group by as statement as well. Now, when I run this, it will give me two columns for name and equipment, and then it will give me the sum of total kgs for that particular category. Now comes the third concept that we will be discussing today is called alias. Now you must have noticed, right? When we wrote this query, both name and equipment have proper header names, column header here, right? But the sum total kg column here has a default header name, which is not that easy to understand, right? And someone looking at the data set would not be able to understand what this column represents. This is happening because when you apply this aggregation function, SQL or BigQuery automatically assigns a name to that column header because you have not defined a particular name, okay? In order to assign a name of your choosing, all you have to do is give it an alias name, okay? And how do you give an alias name? You just write as and give it a name. Let's say total kg underscore sum, okay? And then run. Now, if you see the result that it gives out will give me both name and equipment in the column header. Alongside that, it will give me the new column header that I've given, which is total kg underscore sum. So as you see all three concepts that we discussed today are some way or other used in combination with each other to get a certain output, right? So I would suggest that you go ahead and practice these three concepts and see whether you're able to understand all of them. And in case you get stuck somewhere, feel free to ask me in the comment section. I'll be happy to help you out. So that is it for today. If you're liking my content, then please consider subscribing to the channel. I see that most of you who are watching my videos are not subscribing to the channel. So it would really help me out if you could press that subscribe button. That will really help the channel a lot. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.